following this for the past hour or so. A family without a home right now following an overnight fire. KITV4's Nana Okawa joining us live from Palolo Avenue with the latest on what's going on. Nana? Good morning. Fire crews are still at this house fire investigating it. It's the house fire started on Palolo Avenue. Now, if you take a look behind me, the residents that got out safely, three residents and also a dog. They're kind of shuffling through um, some items that were taken out of the house right now, just seeing if anything was left from this house fire. Police say this fire started at 2.44 this morning. They were able to control it at 3.10. The residents inside said they heard um, a pop and they smelled some smoke. And uh, when they smelled it, they started rushing out. One of the residents did say that he wasn't sure if his dog got out safely, but luckily he found out that one of his friends did get his dog out safely. The fire started, they all ran. They ran for, um, some of the group went down, some of the group went up the street, and then they regrouped together now. So everyone, we're like 100 for everybody, they're all safe. More than three people, the residents told me that I talked to, uh, live in this house, but three people were home at this time um, when the house caught on fire. One of them is a UH grad student. They say that it may have been started by a candle, but that's still under investigation. They're still unsure about that. There have been no um, injuries reported in this fire, which is a good sign, but police will continue the investigation to find out exactly how this fire started. Reporting live, Nana Okawa, KITV4 News, back to you.